Hey guys, Psychotic here, coming at you with another video. Today's video is going to be based on the game Outriders. Outriders is, it, it's hard to explain, it had a really rocky start with some server issues, crossplay issues, bugs in the game, the amount of enemies that would spawn at a time, you know, timers on the expeditions, not enough content, it, it, it had great potential, it just seemed like it was unfinished. For the longest time and what we have for you today is just a quick little video explaining everything that just happened we just got in my personal opinion as a fan of outriders i feel like we just got a huge update okay um so that's gonna be what we're doing today if you guys like what you see go ahead and drop a smash on that like button Hit that red subscribe button, ring the notification bell, set it to receive all notifications. That way, if I post content in the future or during live streams, you guys will always be notified by it. I really hope you guys enjoy the video today. It's something new that we haven't done quite yet. And here's to more videos like this and playthrough video series in the future. I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, guys. So, what we have here is an update for Outriders. They're calling it New Horizon. The message starts like this, right? Sorry about that, my phone just went off. Here, let me move that. It says, Thank you, dear Outrider. Welcome to the New Horizon update. Speaking of which, if you go into your gaming program that you use, Outriders, actually, this is their new um, game icon, like their desktop icon, the, the picture you'll see in your Xbox, PlayStation menus, all of that. Welcome to the New Horizon update. This free, free update is the culmination of months of hard work spent improving Outriders, addressing feedback, and making it the game that you asked for. Please check the News tab for more details on the New Horizon update and our upcoming expansion, Outriders World Slayer. <clears throat> now, what I just noticed from that specific section right there is they said our upcoming expansion outriders world slayer so this update is free and then they're going to be coming out with a with a new expansion here hopefully sometime soon and then it says thanks for all of your ongoing support this update is for you from the outriders team let me just start off by saying i love the look of this new this new desktop icon here because I play on PC so it's a desktop icon I love the rugged look on the outside how it's kind of almost looks like it's burning inwards all right let's get to page two this is the actual update Outriders has been updated I love that picture that's awesome looking change notes new horizon expedition timers have been removed that's something that we've been asking for in this game since the first person hit end game content and realized that there were timers on the expeditions now that the expedition timers have been removed we can really push ourselves and see like the things that we can do we can push the limits there's not that time restraint on us like there was before which is awesome four new expeditions added that's great. I know that there was a huge issue in the game before with there not being enough content and it seemed like a lot of the end game content was kind of repetitive. Now some people would look at it and say, oh it's only four new, you know, four, it's not that many. You guys also have to remember they're adding new content without a price tag. Most games when they add these kinds of things will lock it behind a price tag with a bundle or with an expansion pack and, and stuff like that. But this is a free new four expeditions that we have added, which is awesome. Next one says transmog system added. Now, I don't know how they're going to go with the transmogs. If it's going to be a thing where you buy certain variations of things through shops or if it's a thing where, like in another game that I play, Final Fantasy XIV, for example, where when you have something, 
as soon as you get it, you can use a certain type of currency to change the appearance of other items in the game. I wonder if maybe that's how it's gonna go. We'll find out though, but transmog system added, that's awesome. You can change the way your character looks, come up with different design options. I think it's gonna be really cool for those people that enjoy that kind of, um, that kind of system in the game. Iago's store has been reworked. Now, that's something that I personally am really excited for. When I played this game and I made it through, you know, the first time all the way through to the end, and I got to that, you know, I got to all of that good content, I noticed that Tiago's store, there wasn't, there wasn't enough, it, it's hard to explain. It was a decent store system, but you could just tell from going in there time and time again you can tell that there was something missing from just the way that everything worked so i'm really excited to see what they mean by rework for tiago's store that's awesome various buffs to legendary armor sets mods and more now this is extremely exciting one because of all the different legendary stuff you can get in the game so now they didn't say specific sets specific mods they didn't say anything like that they said two legendary armor sets and mods and more more probably meaning legendary weaponry um this is a huge thing a lot of people were saying that a lot of the legendary gear especially some of the legendary gear you get an end game when you're trying to climb those challenge tiers a lot of the legendary gear was underwhelming it was underperforming people were saying that some of the mods and stuff that you can get just weren't doing the kind of damage you know that, that they're expected to do they didn't have the effectiveness of what you would think something that has the legendary you know rarity status would have so it's really nice to see that i can't wait to jump in game and check out and see the different kinds of buffs that they got other quality of life improvements i mean i'm glad that they put that in there but in a sense i kind of would like a little bit more uh what's the word i'm looking for explanation like exact like uh yeah pretty much expand on that a little bit you know what i mean like tell us what other types of life improvements you've made to the game for example did you decrease the spawn you know the spawn amounts for you know earlier game content where sometimes if you're trying to push and stay at that max you know world tier in certain areas there's so many enemies that spawn that aren't necessarily easy enemies to kill that you feel overwhelmed like you have to go down a challenge tier so i wonder if maybe that's something that they put into and then they've worked with other bugs and crash fixes, which is great because me personally on PC, there was an issue before this update happened where when I would try to load my game up, it would get all the way to, you know, the very beginning where it says, you know, press blot to play and it's at that home screen with the world or whatever. And I would go to press space to continue <clears throat> and my game would freeze and would pretty much crash on me. And that would happen every time. I, every time I tried to play the game, I knew that I had to load it twice because the first time it would always freeze and crash. Today, after downloading the update, this is actually the first time I opened the game and it opened absolutely perfectly. No freeze, no crash, awesome stuff. And then, of course, at the very end for specific details, please visit the Outriders social channels on all the different social media pages. Okay, so... That was great. That was a, a great, great update in my personal opinion. Um, let's switch back to the main screen here so we can get ready to do the outro now. I am actually, this, this is really, really exciting for me. I was one of those people where even when they were having server issues, even when they were having issues with the game, I played the game a lot when it first came out. Even though I couldn't play with my friends on other platforms because cross-platform wasn't working properly, even though the you know the spawn issues the stuff being underrated i i played the game a lot when it first came out so to finally see it sucks that it took this long but hey better late than never right i mean at least we got some of the content 
that we were hoping to get that's not saying that every single thing that everybody wanted in the game is in the game now i mean it, it it just doesn't work that way if you know the gaming industry you know the way that things work and you can't just literally have everything you want because you could want something and then get it and then not have even really wanted it you just like the idea of having it in the game um so I'm I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited to see where they take things from here when the next update will be. I can't wait to see what happens with the Outriders World Slayer expansion that they were talking about. Um there in the update notes there. I can't wait to see what that's all about. If maybe they're taking us to a different world that's not Enoch, or if it's just like an expansion on the story or what's going on. I mean, it could be anything. It could be an expansion on the story or it could be a whole new campaign with a whole new, you know, whole new set of characters. You never know because the game's been out for a little bit now. And the fact that the expansion they're talking about isn't out quite yet, it, it could be really big. It could be a huge expansion. Um, So with that being said, that is the update notes for outriders this update just recently came out actually i think it came out today i'm not sure i'll have to i'll have to check and leave it in uh leave it in the description of the video just to be safe um but i'm really excited for the future of this game i've always been a fan of it you guys are gonna see me start to play it more on stream now you guys are gonna see i'm actually going to be doing a playthrough video series of this game okay we're gonna have our stream character that we like play around mess around with and then we're gonna have our other character that we're gonna use to do a single player playthrough series like a video series episodic series um on the youtube channel and that is gonna be starting either today or tomorrow. I'll be posting the first video to start off that series. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. This is something that I wanna try to get into a little bit more. I apologize about the lighting. I gotta try to find a way to get another lamp or something in here so the lighting is a little better. It's not so dark and grim and shadowy all over my face, um, but if you guys like the content, go ahead and hit that like button. Every like that we get makes the algorithm like the content even more, which will expand our community even more and make the channel grow even more, which is exactly what we want. If you would like to see more content like this or would like to see me live playing games like Outriders, Fortnite, RuneScape, um black ops 3 zombies whole bunch of different things smash that red subscribe button make sure your notification bell is set to receive all notifications from my stream so you never miss any type of content that i post and yeah i'll see you guys here in a little while and until then psychotic out